Have you ever pondered the profound question that Heraclitus once posed, no man ever steps in the same river twice? This statement, a cornerstone of Heraclitus's philosophy, ushers us into the complex world of this enigmatic philosopher. Born in Ephesus, an important city on the Ionian coast of ancient Greece, around 535 BCE, Heraclitus belonged to an aristocratic family. However, he renounced his royal rights to his brother. This act, perhaps, was the first hint of the unconventional thinker he was to become. Heraclitus's philosophies were often cryptic, earning him the nickname The Obscure. His writing style, purposefully convoluted, was a reflection of his philosophy that truth is not straightforward and requires deep contemplation. Heraclitus's central concept was the Logos, a Greek word with multiple meanings such as word, principle, argument and reason. For Heraclitus, the Logos was the divine law that governs the universe. He posited that while the Logos was omnipresent, people were often unaware of it even when explained to them. In a sense, Heraclitus claimed a unique understanding of a fundamental concept of the world that others were incapable of comprehending. The Logos, he believed, permeates us through our senses and bodily pores. It is not merely a principle or thought, but a type of substance that can pervade our bodies. Heraclitus argued that people who do not understand the Logos live a life of ignorance as if they were asleep. He compared the real world and the world of dreams, stating that while sensory experiences occur in both states, they are not of the same quality. A dream is a private experience of the dreamer, while reality is a shared experience. Heraclitus's philosophy also revolved around the concept of fire, a concrete substance. According to him, fire played a dual role similar to the Logos. It was unclear whether he identified the Logos with fire, but he argued that the Logos, the principle that dictates things in the world, is somehow fire. Heraclitus's philosophy was based on three principles. First, the principle of harmony, which he redefined from its Pythagorean understanding. He saw harmony as a product of tension between opposites, which are created from each other. Second, the principle of change, asserting that everything is in constant flux. And third, the principle of fire, signifying the world as an eternal fire, chosen for its perpetual motion. In summary, Heraclitus's philosophy, deeply embedded in the concepts of the Logos, harmony, change and fire, paints a picture of the world as a dynamic entity, governed by a divine principle and in a state of constant flux. This understanding challenges us to perceive the world not as static and unchanging, but as a realm of continual transformation, where harmony is born out of conflict, and where understanding the divine Logos can awaken us from our ignorant slumber.